Hi good people, welcome to this week's episode of Mama Zulu Health. Today we'll be talking about nurturing your child's mental health because we know and what I believe is that without mental health, there is no health. So there are so many uh, ways to do this, but I'm going to give you a few tips on how to do this and then you can research on others to help you more. Number one, be patient and present. It's always good that as much as you can to be there for your child and to be patient with them in everything that you do because you know they are learning. They are kids and so they are learning every time. Be patient with them, show them, be there to guide them and show them what to do. Uh, show them love, hug them, uh, you know. I mean, who doesn't love to be loved? We all like to feel that love in our lives. So be there for them, show them love and shower them with hugs and love. Uh, number two, listen actively to them when they are talking to you before even judging them and give, or giving them advice. Listen to them, let them talk and talk. Um, be there to listen, listen actively, kabisa kabisa. And then after that you can be able to judge and give them the advice that they need. The other one is to recognize when they do something positive. Kifanya kitu mzuri and unapenda when they are able to make the right decision, appreciate them, show them that you have noticed and that they have done well. And this will encourage them to be more confident uh, to make the right decision even in the future. <clears throat> Number four, have scheduled uh, family time, go out, have lots of fun, eat food that you're not used to at home, pull up the kabisa, talk, even if you don't have something uh, something specific to talk about, ongeeni tu, ongeeni bitu zenu, anything that comes up, ongea, wacha mtoto ongea, kuongeleshe, there's something they have to tell you, wata kama hakuna tuyo kuambia, just encourage them to keep talking and talking, and this way they will release all the burden they have in their heads, everything troubling them, what are you release and they'll be able to uh, be free and they are mentally stable and free. Uh, the other thing is set boundaries at home and respect them. Zile rules unataka zifuatu kwa nyumba, right from the beginning, set them, uh, tell everybody about them uh, and respect them. When people go uh, beyond the boundaries, tell them. If they are within the boundaries, also recognize that and appreciate them. This way, everybody will have will be stable enough to continue being uh, free from all these burdens. The other one is to um, be calm and listen to them calmly when their emotions are elevated. When they are very hyper, they are talking too much loudly, and something has annoyed them. Don't also be annoyed and shout back at them. Uh, be calm so that you sometimes it's normal in families that both of you are hyper but it's up to you because you are the adult here and you know these things it's up to you to calm down listen to your child uh, when they're hyper try to calm them down don't waste and to solve your issues and then last but not least we have um, teach them how to relate well with others forgive them and also to show others love because and also to tell the truth because if they are able to forgive others, unajua ukibeba hiyo baden ya mtu wali kukosea, mtu wali kukanyanga tu kishuka matatu, and you don't want to forgive them, na shindo kusema, ha, ike kimitu kili mkanyanga. But if you forgive and let go, hiyo kitu taisha kwa mind yako, and you'll be able to relax. So, uh, forgive others, tell the truth, the truth will always set you free. Remember, if you tell lies, the next time you'll have to create another lie, to cover the first lie and so on and the, the sequence continues. But if you tell the truth the first time, that's it in Aisha two people. So it's telling the truth is very important. So those are just a few of them. There are so many of them and if you have time in our next episode we can look at some of the others. But for now to Tamalize Apa episode yet we are there. Thank you so much for giving me your time and I hope these things will be of use to you. Thank you.